Welcome to the next video in the Boswell's College Maths Induction Playlist. In this video we're going to take a look at solving simultaneous equations. Here we have uh, solve these simultaneous equations 3x plus 2y is equal to 5 and 5x minus 3y is equal to 21. Now in order to do this the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make the coefficients of either the x terms or the y terms the same. The coefficients being the number that comes in front of the letter. Um, so the way in which we do this is we need to find, uh, we need to multiply each of the equations by a number that will end up making um, either the x is the same or the y is the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this top equation by 3 and I'm going to multiply the bottom one by 2. When I do this what will happen is uh, I will get the same coefficient uh, for the um, for the y term. So let's see what happens. Um, 3x plus 2y equals 5. So I need to multiply all parts by 3. So what I end up with is 9x plus 6y equals 15. And then I'm uh, multiplying this bottom equation here by 2. So what I end up with is 10x minus 6y and that is equal to 42. Now as you can see I've got 6y and I've, I've got plus 6y and minus 6y. So what I can now do is I can um, either add or subtract the equations from each other to cancel out um, the y term. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add the two equations together. In adding them together, what will happen is that y term will disappear. So 9x plus 10x, that's going to give me 19x. And I've got 6y plus minus 6y. Well, that just cancels itself out. And then I've got 15 plus 42, which gives me 57. So what I, this means, I've got 19x equal to 57. So I need to figure out what x is going to be. Well, x is just going to be um, 3. Um, quite an easy calculation for anyone that does darts. Or plays darts, I should say. So my first answer is x equals 3. What I'm now going to do is I'm now going to sub in this value into this top equation here. So I'm going to sub in, sub in x equals 3. So what this, what this will leave me with then, if I'm putting it into this first one, I've got 3 multiplied by 3 plus 2y is equal to 5. So 9 plus 2y is equal to 5. Now if I um, subtract this 9 from both sides, that will leave me with 2y is equal to negative 4. And then y will be equal to negative 2. And that is uh, my final answer there. Now I can do one last thing to kind of help me be sure that I've got the correct answer. And it's just a little check and it's a nice way to just ensure that you've not made any mistakes so the check is to substitute both of these terms into the equation that we haven't used um, in our first substitution so we haven't used 5x minus 3y equals 21 with both of these values let's just check that if we substitute x and y into this equation we get an answer of 21 so substituting x in, that's going to be 5 multiplied by 3. 5 multiplied by 3. And then I'm subtracting um, 3 multiplied by negative 2. So 5 times 3 gives me 15. And then I'm subtracting from 15. Um, negative 6 
So 15 minus minus 6, that is going to give me an answer of 21. Is that what I have here? Yes, it is. So I can be sure that my value for y and my value for x must be correct. OK, um, here is a second example. What I suggest you do now is pause the video um, and attempt this question on paper. Um, see how you get on with it and then the answers are coming up shortly.